Hello everyone and welcome back to Timberborn. This is episode 12 of the Road to 500 Beaver Challenge. In the last episode we left our beavers just a little bit thirsty and it does look like we have some water being delivered. Hopefully this will help alleviate some of their thirst. They do have a water pump but it looks like there is not any water down here right now. I think we're going to probably want to set up a couple more water pumps down here and without getting dynamite we are going to have to do a little bit of rearranging of the stairs. We're going to have something looking like this so the beavers can walk down and underneath the bridge to get here. And we're going to pause this guy before we destroy these stairs. I think we probably should bump these up on the priority list just a little bit. Because we want to have the water pumps ready for when the water returns. We still have seven unemployed beavers so I think it's worth putting another lumber mill and power wheel in. I think we should focus on getting these built first since we're short on planks and the sooner we get planks the quicker we can build the rest of this stuff. I'm starting to get a little worried about all the thirsty beavers since now you can see they're starting to get kind of close to being dead. I think it's worth setting up an emergency route from over here. Let's fast forward to the morning and see how they hold up on the next day. Okay it's the end of the next day and the beavers are still thirsty. They don't have any water right now. There are some beavers that are not thirsty. Oh, we should definitely pause this. We should not be dumping water. Are they gonna go collect the water? Oh, yes. That's gonna help. On the bright side, they're gonna have a little bit of water in the morning. And they got some more dropped off. Rise and shine and they just took all that water immediately. I don't think any beavers are going to die now since there's only a few really thirsty ones. I think they'll survive, so we'll leave them to that. Looking at some of the other districts, it looks like this one here is really starting to make this dam. We have over 6,000 wood and this district has none, so I think we need to set up some more routes. One of the districts that has a lot of wood is Massachusetts over here, and they're not even chopping down all the trees. Since they're so close to Maryland over here, I think it actually would be worth just extending this path over here and then giving them the ability to chop down the wood on their own. Oh, the water's back, and now we can unpause this, help them get some water. Okay, they have some, but they should definitely be providing their own water. And we can turn this pump back on. And now these guys are short on wood. Oh, they're out of water again. Let's turn all these back on. And we can get rid of this temporary water route. While they're out of water, we should upgrade these. Oh my gosh, they are almost maxed out on spatter dock. Cattle crackers are also looking good. And that looks just so full. We have the lumberjack sitting in wait, just we're ready to start chopping down trees. As soon as these stairs get built, then they will be able to just go to town over here. These guys now have access to the trees over here, and they have 322 wood. They do also have the forest over here, so I think they should be delivering some wood to these other districts. So now that these guys actually have water, we can probably focus on trying to get this bridge built across. And there are trees in the way, so we probably won't be able to connect in... uh-oh. I think this is actually one level above here, but we will need to platform down to connect in. And if I want to make it symmetrical, then I'm guessing I'll probably put a couple bridges here. Just some baby bridges. And then we can connect this in. Oh man, it's one bigger. Okay, well, I guess we'll go with a five suspension bridge. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but that's okay. It'll work. And they'll be able to build this since they can go across. Oh, look at that. Beaver's already getting to town. This district also has a terraforming station that I set up. And the reason why I built that is because I want to try and build some stuff over here. And we actually haven't checked on the dirt pile recently. Oh, wow. They have 300 dirt. We can set up a route to deliver dirt to the other district. And then they can start doing some terraforming of their own. Let's give them some dirt. We can probably store some right up here. 
Let's just go a little crazy. Start building. Okay, so I may have gone a little overboard. If they complete this by the end of the series, I will be thoroughly impressed. Speaking of the challenge, we should probably start looking at putting some more housing in. These guys are sitting around, which means that they probably don't have dirt in this district. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm going to do something crazy and just set up a distribution post that exclusively delivers dirt. It's going to be bought so that it can be delivered at nighttime and daytime, since this district is accumulating dirt pretty quickly. It's time to rename this district to the 8th colony, which was Delaware. And we have that set up. I think this district is going to be a fantastic candidate for getting some more housing set up, because they only have nine beavers. And I'm going to have them just try and cover as much of this in platforms as possible, since they don't really have that much land space right now. But before you build anything, we're going to have to get a builder's hut set up, and then also get some plank production underway. Now we can begin covering the world in platforms. Oh my gosh, they are just not even chopping down trees over here. They do have 2,000 wood in this district, so we should probably have them deliver it to other districts. Okay, they have the foundation of the bridge, but that's about it. They are making a lot of planks, but I think it's still just they don't have enough wood. Speaking of distribution posts, we did finish this one. I think we'll probably deliver some dirt and wood over here. And we can actually bump this up to the max because we still have three unemployed bots in this district. Oh, if you look at that, you can see that we actually have two jobs that we need to have filled, which means it's more housing. Seems like everything is running pretty smoothly so far. We have, wow, we have 42 unemployed beavers. <laughs> That's so many. See how the housing's coming along. Okay, they have the platforms. Oh, perfect timing. They just got the first one of those built. And we should probably prioritize these right here. Taking a step back to look at all the districts, it is kind of crazy how much we have expanded. Okay, technically, Maryland is right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. That is all the districts. And we have only covered like maybe half of the map. We still have all the space over here, which is, we're not going to be able to make it to the other corner. That'll just take way too long. Plus, we are getting pretty close to 450 beavers. Oh wow, look at, they are actually almost done with this bridge over here. Just need some more planks. And there's this, this massive wall of dirt in the way. You know, I really should have thought about this. I don't want this here. I definitely forgot about putting in the lumberjack flag, and now we can put it in, but we just had to make a few extra platforms. You can see all the bots that are delivering stuff non-stop, and that's just not even enough because they don't have any dirt in this district. Okay, I think they are actually maxed out. Yeah, they are as close to maxed out as you can get. I think that means we need more storage. Let's make this monstrosity of a structure over here. Since we maxed out these storages, we're going to just build two more above it. So the construction's going a little slow on these, and that's just really because they don't have enough wood. I think we need to try and figure out how they can get access to as much wood as possible. I think it would also be worth getting some paths across this river to get access to the trees over here and even over here if they can reach. So we'll just do a nice little path down this way. So in total we have the stairs going all the way down there and here, and then we'll have some come up to go this way, and have them come directly down, hopefully to reach these. I really have no idea if it's going to reach or not. Oh my gosh, the framer is just absolutely awful. Now it's on three speed. All the way back in Delaware, we have 24 vacant beds, and it'll take them a while to fill those up, so I think we're going to do some migration. And it looks like we have 42 unemployed beavers, which means that we can send some over from other districts. Oh wow, 15. Okay, these guys are pretty close by. Let's just set it up here. 
and we'll just send 10 over. Good start. Now there's only 14 beds that are available and we have plenty of workers so we can unpause this and have them just keep building. Oh wow, look at they actually finished the bridge. I completely forgot about that. There's so many districts, it's kind of hard to keep track now. But it looks like this one beaver is starting to chop trees down, which is perfect because now we will be able to build a path over here and do some more chopping. It's going to be cool to see the beavers meandering their way through the scrap metal over here. And honestly, we can probably set up a forester so that we can get some more trees planted back in this little maze here. Oh wow, they made the most interesting shape. Look at that, it's like a horseshoe. Oh look at that, okay, they built the staircase going over here. It's starting to remove these resources to get some more stairs over here. Let's see what the range is for this. Oh, there's still plenty of room. I think that'll be good. We can get a couple more lumberjack flags set up over here. Connecticut is perfectly balanced with beavers and jobs, but we do have seven more babies, which will be perfect so that we can get a couple more builders. It looks like these grist mills are actually full, which means that we don't have enough bakeries to satisfy the needs of the cattail flour. Now where to put it though, that's the question. I think we could probably... Let's do it like this. Here. Because I want to have room for another grill if needed, but we should be able to fit a bakery in right over here. And with that, I think we're going to wrap up today's episode. We have quite a few things going on, and we are at 450 beavers. I think this next episode might be the last one. We will probably be able to get everything wrapped up then. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next episode. Bye.